Hey everybody, Wendy Sellers here, the HR lady. I'm coming to you today to talk to you about uh, free guides and tips that I have available, completely free. Do not have to even enter your email or anything. They're right on my home page, thehrlady.com, and scroll down to the bottom, and there are 15 guides and tips for HR professionals and managers, and there's also more in the Google Drive link that is available. For right now, I want to go over one of the tips, uh, tip sheets that I have created called How to Address Someone Who Has Spoken to You With Disrespect. That never happens, right? It happens all the time. And sometimes we lose our cool. <laughs> so we really need to understand that we really need to, you know, handle this with tact and respect on our end in order to get them to be respectful as well. Uh, it is very uncomfortable to do, but here are some tips. First of all, make sure when you um, talk to the person that you are in a private and calm setting. So you may have to go for a quick walk around the block first, or maybe several blocks, but make sure that you are in a private and calm setting, uh, whether that's on a virtual meeting or in in-person meeting it's you should make sure that no one else can hear what you are saying and then you can start the conversation out like I appreciate our relationship and because I value it I think it's important for me to share something that's been on my mind there have been times when I felt uncomfortable or disrespected by some of your actions or comments can we discuss this and then wait to see what they say then you, you need to make sure that you're using I statements to express your feelings. Like, I've been feeling a bit uneasy about some of the things that have been happening. When you slam the door, for example, I feel disrespected. When you roll your eyes, I feel disrespected. When you ignore my meeting requests, I feel disrespected. I'm sure it's not your intention, but I wanted to let you know about my feelings. What this means by using I statements is to make sure that you're not saying you did this, you, 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 because, you know, sometimes we have to grab that mirror and look into it and say, hmm, how can I be part of the problem? Maybe I should really be part of the solution here. After you start with the I statements, then you should go on to saying, you know, I want to request a change of behavior and this is how you do that. I value our interactions. I value our relationship. But there's something I'd like to talk about more in depth. When you slam the door, for example, not only does it make me uncomfortable, it makes me not want to be around you. Can we find a different way to handle these situations in the future? And then wait to see what they say. Be assertive and be straightforward. Say things, again, using I statements. I need to share with you that some of your actions have made me feel disrespected. I'm sure you didn't mean it that way but that's how it came across to me. And then ask for understanding. I've noticed that when you do X, I feel very uncomfortable. Can you help me understand your perspective? So these are all different options by using I statements instead of accusing somebody of something. And remember to be in a private setting and a calm setting. And finally, try your best to use a neutral tone. So if you're angry and you're upset, it's going to come off as you're yelling at them or you're scolding them. And you want to make sure that you let them know that you value your relationships. Something like, I'm sure you don't mean to upset me, but I wanted to you know, let you know how I feel. The last thing that I want to say is if other people are feeling this way as well, depending on your position, you may not want to say that. You can say, I'm not speaking on behalf of anyone else. You can go talk to others about this. I'm just talking to you about how I feel and how your actions, your comments, your statements have made me feel. And I value our relationship enough to bring this up to you and repair it. Remember, the goal is to open up conversation, not to accuse or not to blame. It's important to be as specific as possible about the behaviors that are causing the issue so they know exactly what they need to focus on and hopefully change. For more advice, call me, text me, email me, connect with me on LinkedIn at any time. Wendy Sellers, the HR lady. Thank you.